fellow Dollar Warriors, I am Zadar and uh, today we're gonna be doing another battle, this time it's uh, Thrones of Britannia. Uh, I know this sounds a little bit hypocritic but uh, actually I did a format uh, the other day on my computer and I don't have uh, ROM 2 or Attila installed and uh, I needed to do some battles, so Thrones of Britannia it is. I'm, I'm fine with uh, the battles in the game, just uh, the campaign is my problem, so yeah. And uh, I'm gonna be playing uh, defensive seats over here with uh, no ping creation, say hi ping. Hello, how's it going? Yeah, he's What's also the crack? Yeah. <laughs> he's also a YouTuber, he also does Thrones of Britannia and he's Not anymore, fuck yeah. that shit. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> so you uh you tell me, Pink, like uh what didn't you like? Like uh Um well apart from everything, I didn't I, I guess um I'm trying to think of something I hated in particular. Well just like everything about the campaign in general. Um but about the battle, since since we're doing a battle, I I hate the way the cavalry spread out so much. Yeah. I, I don't know if anybody else has noticed that, but like the, the cavalry, like they get stuck on everything. They like little stones, to... and they they get all spread out, and it makes or it lets enemy cavalry units catch up. It's really frustrating. Yeah. Uh, they try to make it more dynamic, which is actually a great idea. Like uh, you can see it, the cavalry like goes like crazy. It uh, it feels so lively, but. Uh... I think they fucked up something uh, on the road to uh, yeah, they must have. making that happen, yeah. <sighs> okay. Uh, also, did... yeah. sorry, go on. No, I'm just, uh, you're gonna set up uh, for the West Sax guy? Yeah, I'm gonna block these bridges. He might not attack. Oh no, sorry, I'm gonna set up for the um, East Anglia guy. The blue uh, enemy. So I'm gonna block these bridges here. He might not attack me there, but at least they're blocked. You're not going on and a gate? Probably not a good idea. Why do you think it is a good idea? I don't know. I mean, if he has berserkers, it would be better to let them into the city so we can shoot them a bit better and get cavalry on them. And like, he could knock down these towers as well if he gets enough men in. Generally speaking, I defend further into the city. He but doesn't it. seem to have uh, Berserkers. He's brought uh, Huskals. Huskals. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, that's interesting because my archers would wreck them. Wherever those house girls are. Do you want to come oh, yeah, and defend them. against uh, Anglia or Sachs? Yeah, I'll defend against Anglia. Okay, I'm gonna go on the other side then. Um... What do we get here? Royal Thens, Royal Thens, of course, and Royal Huskers. Did you did you find the uh, oh <laughs> what ready? No. What the hell are you talking about? You know I'm still uh, just a uh, brain uh, brain master uh, from uh, today. You know I was uh, yeah. trying to play and. Um, like Thrones of Britannia, I was actually trying to do the Mirrors campaign part four and. Uh, I played for like 20 minutes, I, w I was recording and uh, at, a, uh, at the moment I was like uh, what the hell am I doing here? I'm out of here. Yeah, I know exactly yeah, what you and mean. I just stopped and uh, uh, like one, two minutes later I did this uh, video. Yeah, because like, like the, ho the whole thing you do in this game is you just move your armies around and you auto resolve and you move it to another city then you auto resolve and you can use like a one man stack, like a one unit army to just go and take all your enemies um, small settlements. Yeah. Because there's no garrisons. I don't know why they did that. Okay, this guy, the this guy, uh, West Sachs guy, is going pretty spread. Should I fall back or just try to defend the wall? Um, let me see. I generally defend further in, where you can block up some um, streets and things. Yeah, but because uh, if you defend the walls, you can outflank you much easier. I find. Yeah, but uh, the only thing that I can defend is that uh, bridge over here, like uh, right next to the capture point. I guess, yeah. The rest is pretty much undefendable and uh, you... Honestly, I can't recognize where is the... Oh, okay, what the hell. Um, ah, just screw it, I'm gonna go onto... Uh, onto the walls. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Just I don't know if anybody else noticed the diplomacy in this game is really fucked as well. Because, like, the whole map is revealed so all the factions know where everybody else is. So you get people making alliances with people they don't even border, and then they start marching their troops across everybody else's land, who they don't have, like, <laughs> yeah. they don't... 
And they don't have military access with any of these people. Oh, it's, it's really fucked. Um, I, I, you know, my head is a little bit, uh, <laughs> what's the word, like, it's aching, so uh, I just uh, threw my armies, uh, whatever, I'm not gonna, you know, bother. Yeah. Any hard with this. It's fine if, uh, if, I, if we lose, like, uh, who gives a crap? <laughs> yeah, it's not the end of the world. It's only going on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get uh, these lag spikes, uh... Oh, he's got two color bills. Like, uh, I'm mostly at uh, above 60 FPS and for uh, a moment, as, as soon as I like uh, hover over uh, the army, like uh, I get like a lag spike uh, and dropping like, down yeah. to 20 FPS for a few seconds. Occasionally it does drop, but then again, I am on a 1080 Ti, so... <laughs> yeah. <There's that laughs> I'm just fucking with you. No, it's... um occasionally it does happen. I. Like I, I, my my FPS never goes above sixty because I'm using the uh, V sync. No, oh, why? Yeah. Why the hell? No, oh, why not? Uh, I don't know. Well, uh, I find it really uh, awkward how it, this that thing works. All right, don't shoot! Damn it! Okay, I think he's doing a mistake over here, just forcing uh, his towers ahead of his uh, the rest of his army. Yeah, he's gonna block his artillery if he's not careful. Are you trying to make him um, shoot at your units and then dodge his shots, or what are you doing? No, no, I'm not uh, trying any shenanigans. I'm just gonna wait for him to come in and whatever he's, he wanna do. I'm fine with it. Okay, there's my little Q. Can you see? These archers coming outside, uh, re really close to the walls. Um, hold on, where? Which side? Oh, the ones I'm about to charge. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not paying attention. Oh yeah, I see. Oh, nice. I think the um, soundtrack in this game is okay. It's a lot better than Attila yeah, yeah. and Rome yeah, 2. Yeah, the, the music is uh, quite okay, quite nice. It's still like not as good as Rome 1, but it's, it's, it's a lot better, I think. Alright, uh, his guys are routing. Also, sometimes, some, sometimes when you're trying to deploy your units, they, um, they won't click and they won't move. That could be very frustrating. Happened to me just there. Alright, his units over this side are gonna get butchered. This is a bad mistake by him, I think, coming over this way. Yeah, he does have a, separating your army like that is never good. He does have a lot of experience on these guys, though. Good, doing damage to them. They're going down. He's in the city on the other side, but I have these bridges blocked off, so he can't get through to you. Damn it, I, I really hate these goddamn trees. Can't see shit in here. Alright, time to get away from this place. A tower has been destroyed. Okay, yeah, I don't know why they did that. What? Oh. Oh, for God's sake, there was a desync exiting. What does that mean? Like, is he out? It means I'm out. Why? It said there. It said there was a desync. I don't know what the hell happened there. Oh damn it! I'm all alone. Yeah, that's the exact same shit that happens in Attila. You get a desync. Happens in camp in, in multiplayer campaigns in Attila, where you get a desync and then your whole campaign is fucked. <laughs> well, fuck me then. <laughs> so how's it going? Are you still winning? <laughs> Or is my AI being a retard? Um, I can't tell just yet. So yeah, this will be a very entertaining video. Only one person in the battle. <laughs> of course. How do you find the uh, technology system in this game? Um, 
neutral? Yeah. It's not bad, it's not good. I like how you research everything very fast, but I wish there were more technologies. Okay, the thing is, like, uh, if you go, like, uh, oh, damn it, there's a gap over here, too. Starting to get a little afraid about how the AI is gonna handle things. Yeah, the AI is fucking schizophrenic in these games. Oh, I won over here. Totally didn't see that. Alright, I think it's time to get the cavalry out. Uh, I got him stacked up where I want him. When you were playing as Strathclough, did you notice um, Dublin taking over a huge chunk of Ireland? Yeah, automatically without uh, fighting for it. Yeah, that happens in every campaign. Dublin always do that. Even as, if you like um, play as Dublin, you can conquer Ireland really quickly. They're, they need patching, they're really overpowered. So they get free armies. And they're a real pain in the arse faction to deal with because as soon as you attack any of the other Viking factions in Ireland, then um, Dublin gets, or those factions become Dublin's vassals, and you have three factions to deal with. Yeah. I think I'll start a campaign while you're doing that. I'll just play some random faction. <laughs> Won't last long. Let's see if I can uh, get victory conditions before you finish the battle. Um, I don't know what the AI is doing. It's just uh, standing, doing nothing at the moment. <laughs> Uh, which is a little bit bizarre, but uh, let's hope it's it's got a plan, right? It's uh, an artificial intelligence, isn't it? <laughs> and, well, AI in total war stands for artificial idiot. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, East Engl uh, Anglia is coming towards uh, this way. Oh, I can use this spell. Spell? Oh yeah, just uh, you know, war <laughs> Warhammer. Uh, habits. Yeah. Wow, crossbowmen are really good in this. They've only 32 upkeep. You know, when I was playing as um, Wessex, oh, I don't know, did, did, did Mercy have this thing as well, the third counter? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's such a broken mechanic because it caps at minus three public order. That's the, that, that, that's the maximum penalty. So if you were a thousand units over, you'd still only have minus three. Uh, the same mechanic was in um, Bretonia faction in Warhammer, so it didn't come something new to me. Oh, okay. I don't know why they do this shit. It's just, it's so unthought out because, like, if you have a thousand units and you can only have 30, you should at least have, you know, like, more than minus three public order. I think I'm doing well against the West Sox for the time. We're about to break. But I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this thing if. Uh, oh damn it, they're within uh, the gates and the AI doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, 
just killed the general, which is always a good thing, isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> Has my AI sent the uh, archers into melee combat yet? Um, no. Uh, well, they're actually surprised. still there. <laughs> that's uh, proof of evolution, right there. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Where's my general? Oh, there he is. Um, let's get you around over here. Well, all of my ammunition is out. Uh, I think I'm just gonna try to fall back and blob up with the AI <laughs> in order to win. There's no other option. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. The West Sax guys are out. I also killed a few guys from uh, from East Anglia that tried to come here, but uh, I don't know if I can keep doing this. He's got some Danelow, has uh, some Jarl's Huskers. Damn it, he's got a lot of stuff over here. Let's Those are good there. units. Yeah. That can only mean that uh, he's got crop units on this side. I, I hope. I, I don't know. Oh my god, all of the archers of yours are just blobbed up. At least they're sweet. Oh, for god's sake. Oh, totally forget about this guy back here. Good thing. I knew they'd do something stupid. You can never trust the AI with archers. Oh, never. I'm just gonna fall back with everything I've got now. Just keep the cavalry on the run, though. Okay. Lucky my teammate died. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I can take you both down. <laughs> 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 nah, I can't do this. Okay, he's coming over here. Damn it. I need There's a massive fucking penis on the uh, Thrones Britannia campaign map. What? Up in, the, up in the Orkney Islands at the top of Scotland. There's a massive fucking penis made out of stone. Oh yeah, I, I saw that. I was wondering what the hell are these <laughs> kind of things. Like, uh, just... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna try something really daring. Uh, oh my god, your troops are just standing still on the bridges doing nothing while all of the force is going for the uh, middle camp. Like, come on. There's another one here on the northwest of Scotland. It's fast yeah, this it's, time. Yeah, it's filter. Uh, it's, uh, it's literally everywhere. Yeah. I think there's uh, something about Jack Lustig he's not telling us. <laughs> oh my god, uh, I think uh, the AI does not take over in this game if uh, somebody <laughs> drops. Like, uh, your troops are not uh, even moving, nothing is happening. Yeah, that's the yeah, AI for you. I think uh, I think it's over, I can't win. I was, uh, you know, betting on the, that you would last a little bit longer in there, your troops I mean. And that yeah. I would come in the back uh, just to make a back turn, but uh, even your general is just running back doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Thrones of Britannia, everybody. The brilliant new Saga game. <laughs> yeah. Wonder how long it took them to make it. Honestly, uh, you know what, uh, the feeling I get from Thrones of Britannia is like uh, somebody at uh, CA was, um, you know, just trying to come up with an idea and there was well, like one guy, oh, I know what to do, we should do a new DLC for Rome 2 after uh, so many years. That's a good idea, let's, uh, let's do it. And then a second person comes up, okay, I know what to do, we, sh sh we should do a, a DLC also for Attila. And then <laughs> yeah. a, third a third person comes up and he says, no, I've got an even better idea than that. We're not gonna make it a DLC, we're gonna make it a standalone game that's worth like 40 euros. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The fucking Charlemagne DLC had more. This yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, and it costs uh, nearly three times less. Exactly. Like, uh, like Sarloman yeah. was worth its money a lot more than that. Than oh, shit. yeah. Way your, more. Your archers are just running in a blob, uh, and one cavalry is just uh, decimating all of them. <laughs> just one unit. Yeah, I told you that would happen. Yeah. I'm just gonna try to kill some uh, archers here in the back. 
One thing I will say about Trons Britannia though is the detail on the map is very good. Yeah, of course, it's like uh, a huge map with only uh, Britain and Ireland, so... Yeah. Oh, and uh, since you said to me earlier you only get flat maps in the campaign map, eh, that, that's because, you know, it's a really flatty map, like, uh, you gotta go into Wales or Scotland to get something really edgy and stuff like that. Yes, for mountains, but there are a lot of hills in, like, Ireland, for instance, like, almost all of the west of Ireland is hills. And, like, every battle I fought out there was just still flat. Well, they there were marshes, but, they were, but, but it was flat. And, like, even in, like, South Wales and places. Like, Central England, for instance, is flat, but there are, uh, like, rolling hills. Like, you can even see it on the campaign map, there are rolling hills here, but it's still on the battle maps, it's, like, flat or a very, very, very gentle slope. I've seen other people complaining about that in the forums as well. It is amazing though, being from Ireland and being able to look, like zoom in at the map and say, oh I know what that place is. Yeah, it happens to me a lot, uh, you know, with uh, the Sparta DLC or whatever it's called. Oh yeah, yeah, for Rome 2. Yeah. Okay, what the hell is going on here? I actually... Managed to route some troops. Oh, your troops are actually helping, but uh, half of the units of your army are still on the bridges, just standing there while uh, yeah. the rest of the guys just melt. That might have been because I put them in shield wall. Maybe if the AI takes control of an army, they can't um, uh, come out yeah. of the shield wall. Yeah, perhaps it, it bugs or something. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> uh, I just told him I still got you both. I might actually win this. <laughs> yeah, you might. I had a really good battle against Prince of Macedon in Medieval 2, and um, really? right at the end, yeah, uh, right at the end, my ally, his connection dropped. <laughs> <laughs> The game was really close at the end. It, it, it's on his channel, actually. It was, but it was really close. Like even he was saying it. But then my fucking ally dropped. Ah, oh, that's sad. Yeah. Of course, though, I didn't know it was Prince Macedon until he uploaded the video. It's been a long time since I've uh, seen any of his uh, battles. I really enjoyed them. them. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. You know, good. just being a YouTuber. You know, and other stuff I get going on. Yeah. He's really good at uh, Total War, though. Yeah. I would have won. If it wasn't for my teammate, he's blaming the West Sucks guy for losing that easily. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah. It's like you see people playing the game and they're like, they charge their light cavalry straight into pikes like, Oh, I had shit teammates, that's why I lost. <laughs> I think it's your long bowmen that are actually doing uh, all the job here. They didn't all get killed by cavalry? No, 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 they actually survived and they just started shooting left and right and they just fucked up everything. They they are the ones right. that, cost, uh, that I think are giving me the victory right now because... Um, as I was trying to, you know, bring my cavalry in the back, I, uh, as I was saying it, uh, the whole army just collapsed and uh, I was like, okay, it's over, but uh, actually the Lord Bowman did some things. Uh, right. Kill my general on point, I see. <laughs> what the hell is he talking about? I'm just waiting for your infantry to go in, um, in that general, but uh, he just won't freaking go. Yeah. Oh, here's something I was wrong about in my review. In my review, I said there was no trade ships on the map, but there are. I have to put a, write a comment on my video, apologizing for that. There are trade ships in the map. Yeah, they're very, very, very small. You have to zoom in to see them. Oh, come on. The, the thing is, the um, actual trade line is so thick that it, you, you don't really see the ships until you zoom in. 
I see. And there goes his general. Just a nice sandwich. It's always good to bring cavalry. They, uh, the West Sax guy uh, wasn't expecting any cavalry. That's for freaking sure. <laughs> oh yeah, his archers at the stars, I remember, yeah. Big victory. Oh, nice. Thanks for your help, Bing. <laughs> yeah. You can't. Yeah, the, I think the AI could, yeah. Uh, I think that the AI could hear me talking over the microphone. <laughs> oh my god, he had four... Okay, I thought it was uh, Berserkers for a moment. It's just Huskarls. Yeah, it it actually went quite uh, quite all right. Like, uh... yeah, we won. I'm exactly like Super. I I won a battle without even being there. <laughs> the West Sacks guys, a uh, guy just uh, oh my god, his archers, they just really melted. All right, that was it. So. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed guys, uh, that was our rant, me and uh, Pinks, about uh, Thrones of Britannia. I still enjoy some battles, but uh, yeah. Just Campaign about, is shite. Just about it, yeah. <laughs> it's shite. Anyway, um, Pink, you wanna say anything else? Um, no, not really. <laughs> not really? Okay, see you next time guys.